everybody, welcome back again. If you guys are new here, my name is Edgar Calva, and this is an additional video of a secondary propagation. So I did a propagation video uh, probably like close to two months ago, and um, the plant actually grew pretty quick. And uh, I actually want to get additional cuttings because I do want to add this into another uh, mother plant that I have upstairs. I actually have a self-watering pot with a large, well not large, but it's a pretty good size uh, musk bowl. And um, I just want to make it more fuller. So I'm trying to get more cuttings off of it. I'm currently not selling them. Uh, you know, I know you guys are going are gonna to start asking, um, but maybe down the, down the road, I, I probably will sell them because this plant does grow a lot, a lot quicker than others. All right, so let's start with this. So this plant, I am actually not gonna uh, propagate just because it has it has little shoots that are still growing. So I want to give it a, maybe like another two weeks and give it the opportunity to um, you know to create that actual stem. So this one I'm actually gonna put on hold. So I'm actually gonna put this one to the side. Now this one I do want to take the top off and then just kind of want to leave the one on the side. Now this one has a little a little shoot on the side right here and I actually want to be able to cut the top off so maybe it's able to create more growth it does have a little area root so that's what's going to create the um, uh, the root system there um, this one I think I'm just going to take the top off out of these three maybe out of this one I'll get two different cuttings so we'll see uh, now first of all when it comes to propagating this plant in any type of plant whatsoever you have to make sure you have your cutting scissors you have some type of uh, alcohol hand sanitizer or something to disinfect your your tools now let me give you guys a little a, a little tip on this you know I always seen videos on propagation and I always thought like oh I don't, I don't have alcohol I just I can just cut it like come on now it's not nothing's gonna happen and my my propagations kept on dying and I just didn't know why I kept on changing the water you know putting the root hormone and my, my propagations were dying and it turns out that yeah I wasn't cleaning my my tools so my, my propagations actually were dying so always disinfect your propagation especially for a more exotic or more expensive plant such as this I mean I know that there's other ones out there that cost more than a thousand but I mean this one is pretty pricey you know I mean now nowadays I've seen it I seen you know just the cutting selling for thirty to fifty dollars and larger plants for over a hundred. So definitely uh, make sure that you disinfect your tools properly. I mean, all I do basically is just I just get a paper towel, I just kind of spray it all over the place, and then just make sure that I get hand sanitizer all over the place. Make sure I clean it correctly. You know what, I'm actually going to take it closer to you guys so you guys can see what I'm doing. Give me a quick second. Alright you guys, let's actually, okay. So this is the first plant that I actually, that I, uh, that I was talking about. Let me actually see if it focuses. If you guys can see right there on the corner, right there, that's another shoot. So what I'm going to do, if you guys can see right here it has uh, let me see actually hope a focus right there it has an area root so I'm actually gonna make a cut here okay so this is what my plant end ups looking like and this will be the uh, new cutting oops And now here I have just a cup of water, tap water, nothing fancy. And all I do is just dump it in there. There we go. And leave it there for a month or two until it actually creates new roots. Okay, you guys, so we're done with this one. So now we're going to pass on this one. Now we are going to do the same thing when it comes to this one right here. This is what the root system looks like. Pretty healthy. The older, the other leaves are a little bit damaged just because of the, so, uh, um, I'm just going to make a cut right here. Okay, so let's do this. There we go. That's another cutting. So three leaf cutting. And this one will just eventually just create more shoots on the side. Okay. And I'm going to transplant this into soil. So we'll see how that goes too. All 
All right, you guys, this is one of the larger ones. This one grew pretty quick and it has a really good root system. So I actually, I am going to take um, two cuttings, but this one is going to be kind of like a towards an experiment. I'm going to try to take, um, well, we're actually going to do this. We're going to take three cuttings off of this one. Uh, one of them is going to be a three leaf cutting, which is going to be this one on top where I'm holding my, where I'm actually putting my finger. And then the other ones are going to be one leaf cuttings. And let's see how well this, uh, this actually goes. And, um, and then this is going to be more of an experiment on different type of propagations. Okay. So like I said, do my first cut here. I'm just going to do it towards the middle. There we go. Now you guys keep in mind, if you take larger cuttings and actually have them root like this, they grow a lot faster. So this plant, believe it or not, late, like within a couple of weeks, we're actually going to start seeing shoots come up all over the place because it does have a really good root system. And we have our three cuttings. And then same with this one, we are just going to leave three leaves on there and then do a cut. This one's pretty small to be honest with you guys. I don't really, I didn't really want to take a cut off of this one, but I mean, let's see, right? Let's see how it goes. I mean, obviously the plant's not going to die on me, but you guys can see that these leaves are a lot older from the original. And the three new ones are new from the uh, propagation. And I don't know if you guys um, are familiar with, you know, with propagations and stuff. Um, you know, three leaves. I'm just gonna do under the knot. Oops. Oh, good news, you guys. This one actually already has roots, but it's kind of stuck on here. Oh, just kidding. It just has a little small root. Then this is what it ends up looking like. And this is what I was talking about, guys. This one has a bunch of little shoots all over the place. And it has... It has one right there. Another one right here towards the top. And then it's one, two, three shoots. So this one, I'm just going to try to give it give it a couple more weeks to try to have those two little shoots kind of sprout and then just cut the top off and then do another, do another another propagation. Or maybe if I like it, I'll just leave it like this because it does make your plant look a lot fuller too. So we'll see. My sister's low-key been stealing my plants. So she, she'll probably will steal them. Okay, guys. So here we have it. These are six new, new plants that will develop. And these three were actually will go now on soil because they're ready to be planted. And uh, I feel like this is also good for one specific reason because you cut the top off so it's gonna, you know, um, kind of push it to create more growth. And you know, growth in general does not mean, you know, more leaves or getting larger. You know, it also means a lot. It also means um, getting a better root system. So once this is actually transplanted, um, I feel like it's going to do really, really good on the actual pot that I'm putting it on and it might just uh, help it, you know, because here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to put all this under soil. So this, this one's probably going to be, probably I'm just going to leave these two leaves and this is all going to go under soil because this is all roots and trust me, this is going to grow quick. And the same thing goes for this one. I mean, I don't think I'm going to get, I'm, I'm going to get rid of any, uh, any leaves but I am gonna submerge almost everything in soil. And same thing goes for this one. I mean, you can kind of do like towards like the side like this, but then, you know, create more growth. I mean, I don't know, it just all depends. That's just an idea. Well, you guys, thank you for watching. Um, 
your simple tips, I mean, you know, I, I use tap water. I don't use nothing fancy. People, I know people would like to use the actual uh, purified water. I really don't because I feel like it does have some nutrients and minerals that the actual plant can observe and help itself. Um, now, this is actually a really cool plant that can actually grow in water because I have done um, like pothos and uh, other plants, or propagating another plants, and they, they usually do grow. But it takes a really, really long time. So, I mean, it's like compared to water and soil, obviously, it's going to grow a lot faster in soil. But this plant actually does thrive in water as well. And um, like I said, you know, I mean, it's uh, I I'm not watching it 24-7 either. You know, like a lot of times I forget to water them or, you know, it runs out of uh, water or the water evaporates a little. And I don't notice until it's like almost halfway. So that's mainly why you see that some of the roots are a little, a little darker color so make sure that you just keep up on that you know making sure you have a good uh, water level and um re replace your water every once a week at least you know uh, i honestly don't do that that often but if your plant has some type of bacteria or your scissors actually got some type of bacteria and it starts rotting in there and you don't actually see it it's going to rot the whole plant and you know your propagation it's basically gone um, so you guys have any more questions, you guys already know, you guys can also contact me via Instagram or you guys can comment below. Um, if you guys want me to start talking about a different topic related to plants or, you know, other, other, um, um, other questions or whatever the case is, um, just let me know. I do not fertilize this whatsoever. I never, I don't add no fertilizer to my water. I never do none of that. Um, I actually stopped using, uh, root hormone um they do pretty well by themselves so i don't really you know i don't really add it to it but um but yeah yeah you guys i mean we're, we're, i'll keep giving you guys updates on the plants and you know you guys can see what everything's looking like and i'm actually going to trans transplant this three and maybe the other two that i have i'm actually the total of five i'm actually going to put them back in the well not put them back because they were never there but um put them in my agar uh, pot that i have i'll show you guys a picture i've never seen it Well, thank you guys for watching once again, and until next time.